Today this is for the Vauxhall Corsa 2010 edition and this is for when you get the emissions warning light on. So the fault that we get with the car is that it's running underpowered. We have the engine emissions light on, sometimes referred to as the mill light. The radiator fan is constantly running and when we plug in an OBD diagnostic tool we get the fault code POOB3. Now this is specific to the temperature sensor that is in the radiator, not the engine coolant, so it's difficult to diagnose in some situations because you will still be getting a correct temperature reading and you won't be getting any other symptoms. The main thing is the engine emission light will come on after a prolonged period under this fault. So that's what we're going to try to repair. So what we want to do is we want to replace the sensor we've got down here on the radiator. And this is the one that returns the temperature of the radiator coolant. So it's not the engine temperature. And it's that sensor down there. Now you can pick these up pretty cheap. As you can see, I've got the replacement sensor here. Only cost about ten pounds, but what you've got to watch for is when you go to change it, is that because this sits inside the radiator, the coolant will leak out. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try to do it without draining all the coolant. So the idea is to prep the new sensor ready, connected, have the connector ready to go, and to swap them over. So we'll see how we get on. So the first thing we want to do is taking the, the new sensor you can see it's got a connector on the side so if we look down here you can see on this plastic bundle here a couple of wires coming out and there's the connector now it's a standard box or push connector so you squeeze the outside edge in give it a rattle and there's the connector out and you can see it's a standard two connector piece so what we'll do is fit that to the new new sensor because you want to check that this is correct before you start the work also bear in mind this is the angle sensor there are straight sensors as well which is for different versions so first of all let's just check perfect that plugs in and you can see it's got the rubber bung already on ready to go so we'll uh, we'll set that up ready so using the obd tool this one's a bluetooth one which connects to your phone so first of all it goes into the obd port on this car now they're quite difficult to fit in just rattle it into place and it'll light up you can't see it on this car but it'll light up when it comes on and then what you do is key in the ignition and you turn the key to the on position there we go which is where you get the dashboard lights and then you start up the OBD software and you can see you go into it and wait for it to connect it'll show connected to ECU along the top once it's found your connection and once it's found it what you want to do is go to the menu and show faults and we want to show logged faults and as you can see we've got logged fault you can look that one up to confirm that that is the fault that you've got and in this case that refers to the radiator coolant temperature I'll put a link to that and what we want to do is now that we've got the new sensor connected is clear the fault by clearing the fault it'll remove the warning light from the dashboard and once that's cleared we can then turn the ignition back off and we can take our OBD tool out simple as that and remember it's a good idea put something to catch the coolant as we're going to do it 
so there is going to be coolant that comes out as we do the work and as you can see you get that down as far as you can below the sensor now the next thing to do is we need to take the metal clip retaining clip off the sensor now as we, we remove the metal retaining clip it's easiest to use a pair of pliers like this and it just comes straight out like that so we'll keep that because we need that for the new one. Now remember, the connector now isn't held in by anything other than force and that rubber bung that remember on the new one. So now what you want to do is get ready so that you've got them both in place and ready to swap. Roll your sleeves up because you might get wet here and get ready to swap them. Now you're probably not going to see this very clearly and I'm going to have to do it fast but it's just a matter of tease the old one out and slot the new one in so let's give it a go and it's as simple as that there's the old one and I'm holding the new one in with my finger just to make sure it's held nice and snug in place and then what we want to do is get the metal clip push the metal retaining clip over and just check it's all nice and snug and there we go that's holding on nicely and if you moved any of the connector wires out of the way just make sure they're fastened back up again so they're out of the way now on this car there is a little bit of free cable so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape that alongside the other cables there to make sure it doesn't get in the way of any of these other pipes that's just to make sure but that is basically the process completely done so hopefully this will solve the problem on your Vauxhall Corsa as well with the same error code and remember if it doesn't clear straight away and you still have the emission light on wait one journey one two journeys put your OBD tool back on again and clear faults it may take a couple of starts just to clear it out of the engine if it's had the fault for a while and that should solve your problems for the Vauxhall Corsa. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please remember to subscribe and do pop a comment below if this helped you out.